Abba, Father, your name, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua. Thank you so much, Heavenly Father, who you are. In this moment, I'm sending out the message towards your sons and daughters all around the world. Please give it to me, wisdom and knowledge only. Let me tell the truth. Let me tell the truth towards your sons and daughters all around the world. Whosoever watching this video, chosen one, elected one, their name in the book of life in heaven, give it to them. So pour it out the Holy Spirit. Let them see. Let them listen. What Holy Spirit speak to them? Mighty Heavenly Father, so through the Job, through the book of the Job, Almighty Heavenly Father, so truly, truly, I would like to witness about who you are, your existence, your powers and uh, your ability and uh, your blessing and cursing almighty heavenly father cover with the precious blood of yeshua from the beginning to the end please be with me and in the name of yeshua i do pray amen brothers and sisters in yeshua christ shalom my name is sonham in this in this video, I would like to share with you about the book of Job, chapter 38 to 42. And I would like to witness about who is creator of the universe, Yahweh, his exist existence and his ability and authority. And he, he has authority to cursing and blessing as well. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, I would like to read the Holy Bible book of the Job, chapter 38 to 42. Then the Lord answered Job out of the storm. He said, Who is this that darkened my counsel with the words without knowledge? Brace yourself like a man. I will question you, and you shall answer me. Where were you when I laid the earth foundation tell me if you understand who marked off its dimensions surely you know who stretches a measuring line across it on the what where, what were its footing set or who laid its con cornerstone while the morning stars sang together and all the angels shouted for joy who shut up who shut up the sea behind the doors when it burst forth from the womb, when I made the clouds its garments and uh, wrapped it in the thick darken darkness, when I fixed the limits for it and the set it doors and the bars in place, when I said, this far you may come and no farther, here is where your proud waves hurt. Have you ever given orders to the morning or shown the dawn its place that it might take the earth by the edges and shake the wicked out of it? The earth takes a shape like a clay under a seal. Its features stand out like those of a garment. The wicked are denied their light. And their upright arm is broken. Have you journeyed to the springs of the sea or walked in the recesses of the deep? Have the gate of death been shown to you? Have you seen the gates of the shadow of death? Have you compre comprehended the vast expanses of the earth? Tell me if you know all this. What is the way to the abode of light? And where does darkness reside? Can you take them to their places? Do you know the path to their dwellings? Surely you know, for you were already born. You have lived so many years. Have you entered the storehouses of the snow or seen the storehouses of the hail, which I reserve for times of trouble, for days of war and battle? What is the way to the place where the lightning is dis dis dispersed? 
or the place where the east winds are scattered over the earth, who cuts a channel for the torrents of rain, and a path for the thunderstorm, to water a land where no man lives, a desert with no one in it, to satisfy a desolate waste land and make it sprout with grass. Does the rain have a father? Who fathers the drops of a dew, from whose wombs comes the ice, who gives birth to the frost from the heavens, when the waters become hard as a stone, when the surface of the deep is frozen? Can you bind the beautiful, pla- placed? Can you loose the cord of Orion? Can you bring forth the constellations in their seasons? Or lead out the bears with its calves. Do you know the laws of the heavens? Can you set up God's dominions over the earth? Can you raise your voice to the clouds and cover yourself with a flood of water? Do you send a lightning bolt on their ways? Do they report to you, "Here we are"? Who endows the heart with the wisdoms, or the gave understanding? To the mind, who has the wisdoms to count to the clouds, who can tip over the water jars of the heavens, when the dust becomes hard and the clouds of earth stick together, do you hunt the prey for lions, and satisfy the hungers of the lions, when they crouch in their dens or lie in wait in a thick tickets ticket. To provide the food for the raven, when its young cry out to God and the wonders about the for lack of food. Book of Job, chapter thirty-nine. Do you know when the mountains goats give birth? Do you watch when the does bears are found? Do you count the mouth till they bear? Do you know the time they give birth? They crouch down and bring forth their young. Their labors and pains are ended. Their young thrive and grow strong in the wild. They leave and do not return. Who let the wild monkey, who let the wild donkey go free? Who untied his robe? I gave him the waste land as his home. The sword floods and his habitat. He laughs at the commotion in the town. He does not hear a drawer's shot. He raises the hills for his pasture and searches for any green thing. Will the wild ox consent to serve you? Will he stay by your man- mangers at night? Can you hold him to the furrows with a harness? Will he till the valley behind you? Will will you rally on the hymns for his great strength? Will you leave your heavy work to him? Can you trust the hymns to bring in your grain and gather it to your threshing floor? The wings of the ostrich flap joyfully. But they cannot compare it with the pinions and the feathers of the stork. She lays her eggs on the ground, and lets them warm in the sand. On the mind force that are afoot, the many crush them, that some wild animals may trample them. She thrusts her young harshly, as if they were not hers. She cares not that her labors was in vain, for God did not endue hers with wisdoms or give her a sure of good sense. Yet when she sp- spreads her feathers to run, she laughed at the horse and the rider. Do you give the horse his strength, or clothe clothe his neck with a flowing's mane? Do you make him slip like a locust, striking the terrace with his proud snorting? He bows fiercely, rejoicing in his strength, 
and charged into the fray. He laughed at fear, afraid of nothing. He does not shy away from the sword. The quavers, rathers against his side, along with the flashing spears and the lance, and the frenzied excitement, he eats up the ground. He cannot stand still when the trumpet sounds. At the blast of the trumpet, he snorts. Aha! He catches the scent of battles from afar. The shout of commanders and the battle cry. Does the hawk take a flight? By your wisdoms and spread his wings towards the south. Does the eagle's soars at your command? Your command and build his nest on high. He dwells on the cliff and stays there at night. A rocky crag is his stronghold. From there he seeks out his food. His eyes detect it from afar. His young ones feast on blood, and where the slain was, there is he. Book of Job, chapter forty. The Lord said to Job, "Will the one who contends with the Almighty correct him? Let him who accuses God answer him." Then Job answered the Lord, "I am unworthy. How can I reply to you?" I put my hand over my mouth. I spoke once, but I have no answer. Twice, but I will say no more. Then the Lord spoke to Job out of the storm. Brace yourself like a man. I will question you, and you shall answer me. Would you dis discredit discredit my justice? Would you condemn me so to justify yourself? Do you have an arm like God's, and can your voice thunder like that, like His? Then adorn yourself with glory and the splendors, and clothe yourself in honors and just majesty. Unleash the fury of your wrath. Look at every proud man and bring him low. Look at every proud man and humble him. Crush the wicked where they stand. Bury them all in the dust together. Shroud their faces in the grave. Then I myself will admit to you that your own right hand can save you. Look at the behemoth which I made along with you, and which fed on the grass like an ox. What the strength he has in his loins! What powers in the muscles of his belly! His tails. Sways like a cedar. The sinews of his thighs are close knit. His bones are the tufts of bronze. His limbs like rod of iron. He ranks first among the works of God. Yet his makers can approach him with his sword. The hills bring him their produce. And all the wild animals play nearby. Under the rocks, under the rotus plants, he lies, hidden among the reeds in the marsh. The lat lattices concealed him in their shadow. The pa the poplars by the streams surrounded him. When the river rises, he is not alarmed. He is secure, though the Jordan should surge against his mouth. Can anyone capture him by the eyes, or trap him and pierce his nose? Book of Job, chapter forty-one. Can you pull in the Le Leviathan with a fish hook, or tie down his tongue, his rope? Can you put a cord? Through his nose, or as fierce as his jaw, with a hook, will he keep begging you for mercy? Will he speak to you with gentle words? Will he make an agreement with you for you to make you to take him as your slave for life? Can you make a pet of him like a bird, or put him on a lash for your girls? Will trade? Will trader? Batters for him.
will they divide him up among the merchants? Can you fill his hide with the harpoons, or his head with the fishing spears? If you lay a hand on him, you will remember the struggle, and never do it again. Any hope of subduing him is false. The mere sight of him is overpowering. No one is fierce enough to rouse him. Who then is able to stand against me? Who has a claim against me that I must pay? Everything under heaven belongs to me. I will not fall. I will not fail to speak of his limbs, his strength, and his graceful forms. Who can strip off his outer coat? Who would approach him with a bridle? Who dares open the doors of his mouth? Ranged about with his fearsome teeth, his back has rows of shells tightly sealed together. Each is so close to the next that no air can pass between. They are joined fast to one another. They cling together and cannot be parted. His snorting throws out the flashes of light. His eyes are like the rays of dawn. Fire brands streams from his mouth. Sparks of fire shoot out. Smoke pours from his nostrils. He is from a boiling pot over a fire of reeds. His breath sets coils of flames, and the flames dart from his mouth. Strength resides in his neck. Dismay goes before him. The folds of his flesh are tightly joined. They are firm and immovable. His chest is hard as rock, hard as a rower's milestone. When they rise up, the mighty are terrified. They retreat before his trashing. The sword that the riches him has no effect, nor does the spear or the dart or the javelin irons he treats like a straw. He burns like rotten wood. Arrows do not make him flee. Sling stones are like calf to him. A club seems to him but a piece of a straw. He laughs at the rattling of the lens. His undersides are jagged, potsherd, leaving a trail in the mud like a thrashing sledge. He makes the death corned like a boiling cauldron, and steers up the sea like a pot of. Ointment, ointment. Behind him, he lifts a glistening wake. One would think the deep and the white hairs. Nothing on earth is his equal. A creature without fear. He looked down on all that are. Haughty, he is a king over all that are proud. Book of Job, chapter forty-two. Then Job replied to the Lord, "I know that you can do all things; no plan of yours can be thwarted." You asked, "Who is this that obscures my counsels without knowledge?" Surely I spoke of things I did not understand, things too wonderful for me to know. You said, "Listen now, and I will speak. I will question you." And you shall answer me. My ears had heard of you, but now my eyes have seen you. Therefore, I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. After the Lord had said these things to Job, He said to Eliphaz the 
Temanite, I am angry with you and your your two friends because you have not spoken of me what is right as my servant Job has. So now take seven bulls and seven rams and go to my servant Job and sacrifice a burnt offering for yourselves. My sec my servant Job will pray for you. And I will accept his prayers and not deal with you according to your folly. You have not spoken of me what is right as my servant Job has. So Elipaz the Temanite, Bildad the Shadite, and the Jopper the Namanite did what the Lord told them, and the Lord accepted Job's prayer. After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord made him prosperable, prosperous again, and gave him twice as much as he had before. All his brothers and sisters and everyone who had known him before came and ate with him in his house. They comforted and consoled him over all the troubles the Lord had brought upon him. And each one gave him a piece of silver and a gold ring. The Lord blessed the latter part of Job's life more than the first. He had a fourteen thousand sheep, six thousand camels, a thousand yoke of oxen, and a thousand donkeys. And he also had seven sons and three daughters. The first daughters he named Jenema, Jemi, Jemia. Jemima, the second Kazia, and the third Karen, Hapoch. Nowhere in all the land was there found women as beautiful as Job's daughters, and their fathers granted them an inheritance along with their brothers. After this, Job lived a hundred and forty years. He saw his children and their children to the fourth generation, and so he died old and full of years. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, through the book of Job, we can find out what is Almighty God. His name is Yahweh, Holy Spirit Yeshua. What is the Yahweh? His authority and ability is numerous. He is powerful. And he has authority to blessing as well as cursing as well. He is everywhere, even snooze or even fall asleep. He never fall asleep. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow, he's forever. He exists, and he's working creation, destruction, knowing, knowledge, experiencing. Every single moment, he's working. He's never snooze. He never fall asleep. This language is pure heavenly language, which is a tongue. It is it is hovering all around the world, all over the universe, under the sea, above the sea, in the flowers. It is in the egg, small little tiny ants in your body. Everywheres, universe, in in the airs, it is everywheres. It is hovering. He's working even now. His creation, destruction, knowing, knowledge, experience. It is, it is a new creation. New life is born and the living, and they are destroyed and they are decay. And another's life formation is growing and feeding them. It is ongoing. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, this point of time, I want you to know about who is Yahweh, Creator of the Universe, Jehovah. So He is Almighty God. He is here, 24 hours, 365 days, day and night. It doesn't really matter about the space. Doesn't matter. Time doesn't matter. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter about the season. It doesn't matter about the time. It doesn't matter about the space. He is existent. Most important thing is in this point of times, Creator of the Universe. I want you to know who is Creator of the Universe, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua. 
and especially 2004 Creator of the Universe Yahweh visited me and he spoke to me Korean language. 너는 저리로 가야 한다. 세상 문을 닫을 시간이 다 되었는데 내 아들 딸들이 아직 나를 모른다. You must go there. The time is closed. The door of the earth. My son and daughters do not know me yet. I have a special mission. This mission is ordered by Creator of the Universe Yahweh. He visited me. And especially, I have a special mission in this earth, too, because Yeshua Christ is coming very, very soon. And He is coming with the thousands and millions uncountable angels with the great glory. And it is angels that are belong to heaven. They all wear the white robe, and they all wear the white wings. And the beautiful and shiny, it is amazing. It is a time is coming very, very soon. Since 2004, Almost 20 years, God Almighty walked with me, and the numerous number of the vision God Almighty showed me about what is the happenings very soon about it is end of the ages about this earth. Yeshua Christ is coming very, very soon. Special it is mission is let children of God need to be prepared spiritually. True bride of Yeshua. So, since 2004, I saw the numerous number of the rapture vision. Raptures without death, you will change to be eternal body. Blink of eyes and tires, your horse or spirit mind are held in body and cells and DNAs will well saturated with the creator of universe light, powers, ability. And the blink of eyes, you will, be, you will be transformed to be eternal body and going up. Yeshua Christ is coming very, very soon. 2011, November 10, I saw the tremendous vision of the Yeshua is coming with the thousands and millions of the angels to come. And that vision is even Prophet Enoch saw that vision. So it is written in the book of Jude, chapter 1, 14. So brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, especially God Almighty, pay attention and focus on me. Since 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, God Almighty show me about the Nibiru is coming. N-I-B-I-R-U system. Nibiru is coming. Nibiru is itself look like our sun. Nibiru is coming. Planet is coming. White planet, red planet. It is super large size of the red planet it is a metallic colors disc shape d-i-s-k shape of the planet is coming this is a metallic colors like as a, like white or silver and kind of it is it is metallic colors of the disc shape of the planet is coming they are behind of the sun and coming and coming and coming god almighty Show me the vision. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, through the screen, through the, this video screen, you will see wherever I live. I live in Ontario, Canada. So I take these pictures. Since 2017, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, almost six years, seven years, God Almighty show me the vision about the new video is coming. So I was observed since last year, 2022, about August 28. I took a pictures of the sun. So I find out there was an object, which is white planet behind of the sun. So brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, I highly encourage you to take a picture of the sun with your cell phone camera wherever you live in this earth. You're living in the North American continent, South American continent, Australian continent, Asia, Europe, Africa, Middle East, North Pole, South Pole, Island, it doesn't really matter. Wherever you live, you have a cell phone, take a picture of the sun and you will find out that behind of the sun, there is a planet. It is depends on the whatever it is quality of the, your camera. Some are very visible, some are not really visible. Depends on the your camera filtering system. Because with your naked eyes, you cannot see the sun directly because sun ultraviolet is so strong. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, wherever you live, you must know the truth. 
Do you know this fact? Number one, the cloud is coming down to the earth. Number two, you can see the super moon and super sun. Number three, you can see pink sky. Number four, chemtrail, C H M T L A I L, spreading all around the world, 24 hours. Number five, the moon is round and round; it is spinning. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, you must know the truth. Yeshua is coming very, very soon. You must get ready yourself to be raptured spiritually. Most important thing is wherever you live right now is that the planet tree system is showing behind of the sun. Take a picture of the sun with your cell phone camera right now. Yeshua, Yeshua is coming very, very soon. When, especially at this point of time, you must read the Holy Bible. From the Genesis to the Revelation, it is if you invest about your time, 85 hours, approximately 20 days, you will read the whole Bible. Especially you must read the Bible, Matthew 24, Mark 13, Luke 21st, Book of Revelation, Daniel, Joel, you must read in this point of time. This is happening right now. This is happening right now all around the world. Yeshua is coming very, very soon. So most important thing is God Almighty, show me the vision. Right now you are seeing the partially pink sky because of the Nibiru system, red planet, super large size of the red planet. Because of the Nibiru systems, you can see the pink sky right now. But the time is come, so the entire earth will be positive pink colors. Wherever you live, it doesn't really matter. North American continent, South American continent, Australian continent, continent of Europe, Asia, Africa, Middle East, Ireland, North Pole, South Pole, whole sky will be positive pink colors will be occurred. In that point of time, even air's colors will be purple. In that point of time, even South Pole and North Pole will be shifting. It is great distress and it is catastrophic event will be occurred right before Yeshua Christ is coming. I saw the numerous number of the rapture vision. True bride of Yeshua is a very small amount of the number of this earth. And you must get ready yourself to be raptured. So most important thing is I encourage you, take a picture of the sun with your cell phone camera. Wherever you live, you cannot deny. Depends on the camera quality. Depends on the camera's ability. It is how much yours it is taking the pictures of the behind of the sun. It is a planetary system is taking the pictures behind of the sun right now. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, I do not know when is the time, but constantly God Almighty showing me the vision and dream and the pay attention and the focus on be prepared for the true bride of Yeshua to be raptured in this earth. Yeshua is coming very, very soon. God Almighty, 24 hours, He wants to speak with you and he using any kind of the method and mean he using he doesn't have any limitations to communicate with you brothers and sisters in yeshua christ yeshua is coming very very soon have a true faith in yeshua true repentance and true love in your heart and righteous act all the glory to God Almighty, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua. Yeshua is coming very, very soon. Be ready yourself to be raptured. Shalom.